Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We yesterday just hit 800 subscribers. And let me tell you, like I literally screamed at work. I literally screamed because I saw 800 and I couldn't, I was, I'm still speechless. 800 is so many. I'm literally so close to a thousand and I really, really think that we can do it by the end of the year. That's my goal. So fingers crossed. You guys are amazing. I love you guys so much. And thank you for just like letting me talk about books and do my little vloggy vlogs and uh, just have fun with it. Getting started with this video, I'm gonna be talking about the books I'm most excited to read this fall. I have a lot, the list is fairly long. I'm gonna be on the boat a lot, so I don't know how feasible this is, but also a lot of these are books I'm getting from the library as like eBooks, so I'll bring my Kindle with me. Maybe I'll get some fall stickers, that'd be so fun. This is very like summery. Point is, I'm gonna bring my Kindle with me on the boat, so hopefully I can get through these books getting right into it I'm really like a fantasy girly <laughs> but a genre I've never really read before is suspense thriller mystery type books so I decided it's time it's time for me to read some of that suspensey thriller like Stephen King type novels not really horror but just like what's going on you know and and there a lot of times I feel like they're very fall winter-esque you know like like Gilmore Girls but make it spooky you know I don't really know where I was going with that but <laughs> my wonderful co-worker Cam he let me borrow his copies of his three Gillian Flynn novels and so that includes Gone Girl which is a movie that I can then watch Sharp Objects which I think is also a movie that I can watch <laughs> Dark Places, which I think is a TV show that I can watch. And I'm super excited to read these and then watch their adaptations and just see if I love Gillian Flynn as much as my coworkers do. We also might book club it a little bit where we all read Gone Girl. I've obviously never read it, but my coworkers have and they love it. And so they were like, I'd reread it, I'd reread it. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm very excited to get into this genre this fall. In the same vein, I would love to read one of Riley Sager's books. There's really a, a billion of them, and I've heard good things about all of them. I've also heard from a different coworker that they kind of increase in goodness, <laughs> as a lot of authors do, as they get more versed in being an author, they get better. And so I guess I would probably start with like one of his earlier novels. That way I'm not just like going back words in well-craftedness but you know who knows we'll see what kind of sparks my fancy and i'll hopefully see if i can get one from the library but like a physical copy i just feel like reading a thriller and or suspense novel with a physical copy is going to be so much more immersive than in a kindle i don't know why but that's just kind of what i'm feeling in my brain that's what my brain's telling me another one that i'm very excited to finish i've started it now i'm on i'm 16 pages in <laughs> and normally i don't even like stop in the middle of a chapter but i remember exactly what happened i started chapter two and then i was like i'm so sleepy like hopefully this is a short chapter like chapter one which was only like 10 pages and then i looked and it was like 30 pages long and i was like okay i'm gonna go sleep now <laughs> the queen of nothing which is in the cruel prince trilogy and it's by Holly Black. I really, really like Holly Black. I read one of my first five-star books of the year, Book of Night, which was Holly Black's book, and I really, really enjoyed it. As far as the Cruel Prince trilogy has gone, it's been okay. I think I gave the first one three stars and the second one also three stars. The third one is starting off pretty good, but we'll see how it goes. I think what is happening with Holly Black is the same thing that I've heard happen with Riley Sager where her books are increasing in greatness as she goes along and she gets more comfortable with her writing and her writing style. So I was looking up the dates for these books, right? Cruel Prince was written in 2018. The Wicked King was made in 2019. This book was also written in 2019. Then Book of Night, which I gave five stars, was written in 2022. 
And then there's a duology that follows this book and I think is kind of about some of the characters. And that one, she released book one and book two in 2023 and 2024 respectively. So I just have a feeling that I'm gonna love the second series, the duology. So I really wanna finish this one so that I can read the duology. And that is my plan for this fall because these books aren't bad. They're just not like amazing. For the very quick synopsis, the Cruel Prince trilogy is about this girl who lives in this fey type magical world, but she's a human and she's trying to navigate like being a human in this type of world and she gets very bullied and mistreated because she's a human and so it's kind of just like about her living in that world and there's princes and there's magic and there's fun things and intrigue and politics and it's been fairly good it's just not the greatest fantasy novel I've read <laughs> but like I said I'm very excited for the duology because Holly Black did blow me away with one of her later books so I'm very excited to finish this book. Another book that I'm very excited to finish is Powerless. I'm like that much through. I'm like 346 pages in. This book is very like the selection meets the Hunger Games. And I'm just gonna kind of describe it like that. I'm not loving it, <laughs> but I am excited to see how it ends. And the second book also came out and people have been like five star in the second book. So I'm like, Maybe it gets better. Maybe this is also a situation where the author gets better. <laughs> this one, I'm very excited to see if the hype is worth it because maybe the last like 200 pages really just turned this whole book around. Right now, I'm not, not feeling it 100%, but who knows? Moving on, I am excited to start The Atlas Six. This book came out a long time ago, I believe. I'm pretty sure I said that I wanted to read it in 2021. Oh, it came out in 2021. Nice. <laughs> this book has magic and basically each decade, six magicians are kind of picked. They're trying to pick the next six. They have to spend a year like training and getting ready to then go to this trial, I'm assuming. But I'm really excited for this, like a little bit of fighting and training and magic and powers and it's like right up my alley. So I think I'm gonna devour this book. We'll see if this becomes one of my favorite books of the year. The next book that I am super excited to read is called God Killer. And I actually just got this one from the library. So it's on my Kindle right now. I haven't started it yet, but like genuinely, I was reading up on the synopses for this video and I read that synopsis and I got so excited. I'm like, I need to start this book tonight. But anyways, <laughs> so that one is by Hannah Kanner. Hopefully I'm saying that right. It's about this girl and her family is killed by these gods and so she decides to become a god killer. She's basically like a mercenary it seems and she gets paid to kill these gods and it's going well until she finds a god that she can't kill. It's the god of white lies and he has tied his life to a young noble. Sign me up! Yeah, I'm gonna read the heck out of that book. I'm so excited. I hope it lives up to my expectations in my head of like what this story is gonna be like. Cause I'm so excited for that. So yeah, I'm gonna read that one. The next book is The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. I'm obsessed with Lee Bardugo. If you've been around my channel for a while, you know that like Six of Crows, top book probably ever. The Ninth House series, so good. The show, chef's kiss so she's kind of an auto buy for me i didn't even really read the synopsis for this one i just know it's about spanish royalty and there's magic in there and yeah i'm gonna try and read that one i also got that one from the library and it just became available so hopefully i can start reading that one soon super excited i feel like i should preface with the fact that i'm not giving like good descriptions of these books that i haven't read yet because i try and stray away from like reading the whole description of these books because a lot of the times i love going into books completely blind like i have no idea what is gonna happen that's why they're kind of like shortly worded and i don't know what's gonna happen you know so anyways the next book that i am super excited to read is called the dark water daughter and it's by hm long this book 
I don't know much, but let me read you what it said at the bottom of the little description. So it's about a pirate and a storm bringer, and that's kind of like a siren type is what I'm gathering. It has magic, and then this is what it said. So it's action-packed, high-stakes adventure novel with great characterization, epic plots, full of intrigue and betrayal. <laughs> it's giving Pirates of the Caribbean. It's giving Greek mythology. It's giving everything that I want. High stakes, adventure, epic, intrigue, betrayal, action. So yeah, hopefully I'm gonna be reading that one. Again, one that I put on hold at the library. I think I have like four more weeks before that one's available. So super excited. The next book that I'm super excited for is Road of Bones by Demi Winters. This book is an epic Viking inspired romance fantasy and the main character is a thief. Sailors. Yeah, super excited for that one. <laughs> the next one is actually one that I got recommended by one of my coworkers, so I'm super interested to see if I like it, but it's called The Orc and the Innkeeper by Cora Crane, and the book just looks so cute. So it's a standalone novel, and it follows this like or who like owns a bar I think and then this girl who's a human and an innkeeper and they end up having to fake an arrangement to like save her in and help him out but they're like enemies to lovers he used to bully her in high school and then it's like a fantasy romance type book I know I'm gonna love it. I just know I'm gonna love it. <laughs> so super excited to read that one. And then the last one, this one is one that I got also recommended to me by a friend and it's called Thrown in the Dark by A.K. Kagino. Hopefully I'm saying that last name right, but it's about this like thief and this dark demon lord and they end up somehow through magic getting like tethered together so they like have to go everywhere together and my friend said that the banter is like unreal it's super cute super lighthearted. and then i was reading through some more reviews on goodreads and they said it's a hidden gem like i'm so excited i just think that this is gonna be so good and i love some good banter between like I'm assuming like kind of enemies to lovers-esque like they don't want to be together you know tethered or whatever but now they have to be so super excited to read that one as well and I think that brings me to the end of this video so I've got lots of good books that I'm anticipating for the fall let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books and you liked them disliked them what you thought if there's any other books that you think I would like based on these books thank you again so 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 much for 800 subscribers I could not be more excited and I'm just so excited for all of the cool and exciting videos that I have planned for you guys so if you're not already go ahead and just subscribe. Let's get to a thousand by the end of the year. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.